Whoa, it's been a while since I did one of these. <laughs> What's good, family? This is Brother Moshe. Real talk with Ak Moshe. <laughs> At the um hourglass rank. Oh man, what a week. What a week. What a month. What a month. This whole month has been whipping a lot of our tails, bro. I know this month been whipping my tail. I mean, I just been overwhelmed. And I know some of y'all probably been overwhelmed with life's issues. But, hey, we built to last, man. We built to last. You know, I got me some Stella Rosa wine up in here. I'm about to eat me some pieces, so I'm going to be all right. You know, but, yeah, man, we just stay strong, y'all. I mean, I hate this time of the year. I don't know about y'all, but it's just something in the air, you know, it just... X is my spirit, you know, and I just hate this time of the year. But, uh, man, our people need to get it together, man. You know, I've been seeing all the stuff that's been going on as of lately. You know, it's like our people, this is the worst captivity, you know. It's like our people are losing their minds. See, I got to pray not to lose my mind, to be honest with y'all. <laughs> I think you know, I got to pray for myself as well that I don't lose my mind. Shucks. And like I say, man, all the stuff our people being overwhelmed with every day, man, a lot of our people losing their mind, man, brothers, sisters, and, and the children. And they say, you know, that's why we need to come back to the most high in Christ. And you see a lot of our people, man, I'm going to keep it a buck. A lot of our people not even thinking about coming back to the most high in Christ because they mad with the most high. They angry with Yah. They angry with Yahshua. They're angry with the Bible. They're angry at those who believe in Yah and Yahshua. Because things never went well for their life. You know, things not going how they plan or what they pray for. It never came into fruition or never manifest in their life yet. And so they take a back seat. They stop reading scriptures. They stop praying. And I'm guilty of that. You know, I'll be the first one to say I'm guilty of it. Ain't no shame. You know, I'm guilty of it because I got a dirty mind. I got my days... That I'm not operating right. And I got my days. I'm gun ho for this. You know. I have my moments. Because I'm human. A lot of people don't talk like this. You know. Some days I wrestle with myself. Man. I'm telling you man. I'm telling you. Some days I just be like. Man. I want to walk away from all this. You know. And just exist. You know. That was the point. But. That's just the enemy speaking through me. You know. You know. That's just the enemy speaking through me. That's that flesh. That's why I say it's a battle between the spirit and the flesh. This is ain't no, that spirit and flesh battle is real on a daily basis. And then you see around this time of the year, it's hitting hard. I'm feeling it. It's hitting me hard around this time of the year. You know, it's the so-called holiday season, you know. And a lot of people that's, you know, walking this walk set apart, they may feel like they're missing out on something in life. You know, they're missing out. On a lot of things, you know, because they used to be part of that in the world. They used to be part of the celebrations, you know, like for the holiday season. And they used to go all out and they feeling left out. And it's not, you know, but you got to understand. That's why, because I read one of Sean James' book, and it was a powerful book. One of his books, the author Sean James, um, John Hans, Dark Succubus. When I read that the other night, I mean, it was powerful. It was telling the truth, you know, about how... You know, when the most high call you to be set apart, sometimes you wrestle with the thoughts um, that you want to, you ain't living a normal life. Like, you know, you're not, you seen everybody else around you living a normal life. Like, they ain't married or they in a relationship. They got everything going good for them. You know, they, even though they got their problems and stuff, but they still look like they got more than you in life. It's like they're getting ahead in life. And sometimes they, you question yourself like you ain't living normal enough. And in a book that I read, it was like, normal leads to death, you know. And he brought up that scripture. It was like, there's a way that seems right onto a man, but it leads to destruction. And that's true. Normally, see, most people that's living a so-called normal life in the world, that's lost in the world, they on the road to death. Second death. And when I read that in that book, it was called John Hands Dark Sucker. As a matter of fact, let me go get it. Let me show it to y'all. Let me show it to y'all. I'm going to show it to y'all. I read this the other night by Sean James. It was a powerful book, too. Basically, you know, this sucker bus was tempting John, which is the main character. She was giving him a chance to live his best life, like in his own world. 
you know, because he had a rough childhood. John Hans had a rough childhood. It's a good book. It's not long, too. I read it in one sitting. Yeah, look, you see, see, Succubus Selene, a sexy, seductive succubus, enters John's dreams. Let me read it. Enters John's dreams and offers him a chance to fulfill his life's greatest desires in her realm. If he forsakes his Lord, which is the Most High, and pledges his soul to her, can esteem and Claudia stop the man who rules the world from leaving this one? And so basically, Selene was offering John to live his best life and fulfill all his desires that he missed out on as a child and a young adult in his own world. But it comes with a price, you know, his soul. It was a powerful book. I mean, I read this. I'm going to read this again. I got to get some more Sean James books. You see, this is the author by Sean James. He a content creator on YouTube, too. You know, he a content creator. He wrote over, let's see, he wrote over 60 books. His brother wrote over 60 books, y'all. 60 books. That's a, even though they're not long either. They bought 20 something chapters, but each, the chapter's short though. You can read this in like an hour or two. All the pin fast you read. You can read this in one day. You can read like five Sean James books in maybe a day. Because they're really not that long. Take that piece out of that oven. Take that out of that. I don't want to overcook that. Alright. Yeah, take that piece out of the oven. But yeah. And it was a powerful book, fam, you know. It was a powerful book. I mean, it's like it spoke to me. You know, it's like, cause sometimes, you know, you feel like you're missing out on things in life. You know, you feel like you're missing out on things in life. Like, you had certain things happen to you when you was a child, you know. You wasn't uh, popular. You wasn't a popular or cool child. And you feel like you missed out on life. And sometimes you wish you could live in your own world. That things go your way and things um, go smooth. You know, we all wrestle with that, you know. Yeah. And so, it was a powerful book, man. That's what I was saying, you know. For those who feel left out, you know, because, you know, we all feel left out sometimes in life, you know, especially if you set apart, if you um in this walk, you know, you know the truth, you know, the, you know the truth about this world, you may feel left out, but you got to understand the world love its own. Sometimes it feel, you feel lonely and depressed, you know, because you're trying to connect with somebody and they can't connect with you because you're on a different level. And it could get frustrating sometimes and some people, they go right back into the world. They say, screw this walk, they go right back into the world, or they wish they could be lulled back to sleep, or they wish they never um, came across this knowledge, you know? But, like I said, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but it leads to destruction, you know? Because broad is the gate, wide is the gate, but straight and narrow is the way, you know? But yeah, I just wanted to make this little video, you know, putting on my Real Talk channel at the um, hourglass but i despise this time of the year i do i despise this time of the year because it's like people drive reckless you in these stores people just they just got funky attitudes i mean this time of the year just make you hate people it makes you hate humanity you know it makes you hate humanity around this time of the year so thank y'all we don't have to deal with this but this bullshit once a year you know the holiday season but family be strong man be encouraged you know, stay strong, man. Stay strong. That goes for myself as well, too. Stay strong, Moshe. Stay strong, bro. You know, write your books, write your stories or whatever. Whatever brings you peace, man. You know, build your own world and your story shit. <laughs> you know, yeah, but I don't know. I might go live tonight. I don't know. I'm going to upload this to my channel. I don't know if I should go live or write a new chapter. You know, I'll just chill. I'm going to find me something to do. <laughs> Y'all uh, got food to eat, you know, my Wi-Fi back on, all praise, because my Wi-Fi was out due to that tornado. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short, family. I'll catch y'all on the next one.